For our next make, we're in the shop to tackle a growing problem. Material storage. We've always thought that this spot would be a great place to store all of our sheet goods. But as you can see, without any organization, it's become the dumping ground for just about everything. So we started to use other places in the shop to store our plywood. We've stood some of it up right here. And although this makes it easy to load full sheets onto the table saw, it totally blocks the lumber rack. We've even started stacking sheets on the CNC, which makes absolutely no sense because it blocks the tool from being used. So today we're gonna fix that problem. And it all starts by clearing out this area. There was a ton of material stashed away in that corner, and seeing it all sorted gave us confidence that we'd have enough pieces to build a new sheet goods lumber rack. We're aiming for this fairly classic design where you can store large sheets on either side, as well as long pieces of varying widths on a series of shelves. We also used SolidWorks to design a few alternatives. This version has shelves and a bin on one side to give more storage for smaller pieces but didn't leave room for partial sheets. So we designed this version that just has small shelves for offcuts. But we chose to stick with the design best suited for sheet storage since that's what we need the most. I salvaged all of these 3 quarter inch plywood scraps from the stack, and they should be more than enough material to give us the 75 feet of strips that we need to build the A-frames. We used a variety of tools to cut some oddly shaped scraps into inch and a half strips and then cut them to length with a 10 degree miter on each end. These strips will be used to build the A-frames and create half-lap joints. Now that I've cut and labeled all the pieces, I can assemble them into the frames. But since I have to make four of them, I'm gonna take a few minutes and a few pieces of scrap to build a quick jig. We just pin nail pieces in place to give us reference surfaces against which we can repeatedly assemble the frames. To build the half-laps, we alternate short and long pieces, gluing and nailing as we go. The base frame is a fairly simple construction made up of a few 2x4s and a couple of strips of plywood. We didn't have long enough 2x4s on hand, but thankfully we had an old 2x8 laying around. So we cut it to length and ripped it in half to get the pieces we needed. Adding two screws at each butt joint makes the simple frame come together really quickly. To stiffen the frame and prevent it from racking, we're going to add these plywood strips along the sides. That'll also give us a nice place to locate the casters. Now we can move on to attaching the A-frames. We use a spacer to maintain a consistent offset from one side, and then secure the frames in place with a few 3-inch screws. We pre-drill and then secure the casters with lag screws. The A-frames are tilted back 10 degrees to support the plywood sheets. But we want the lower corner of the rack to be 90 degrees, so the sheets are less likely to slip outward. To achieve this, we'll cut a few 10 degree wedges at the miter saw. We'll also rip a two x four with a 10 degree bevel and glue it along the side edge to further support the shelf. The wedges are glued and pinned in place in the same way and then the whole unit can get a coat of primer and paint. Now that the cart has been painted, we need to work on a few details. We'll start by adding a three quarter inch piece of plywood to the base. This is simply screwed in place and will support the weight of the plywood sheets. We add a full length piece on one side and two shorter pieces on the other. To add more rigidity to the A-frames and to create a smooth surface for the plywood to rest on, we'll install six plywood runners. Before screwing them in place, we clamp all six pieces together and route a groove for each A-frame. Two scrap pieces temporarily screwed in place form the perfect jig for our template router bit to follow. The grooves allow the runners to really grab hold of the A-frames adding a lot of strength to the build and helping prevent the uprights from racking. We make the shelves by pinning in place pieces of quarter inch plywood. We don't really need thick material here because the support strength on the shelves will come from the A-frame cross ties. The plywood is just there to create a smooth, continuous surface to slide material along. Now we can load up the rack with a bunch of material. These shelves are perfect for storing scraps. And the continuous support on this side means you can place any size piece of plywood offcut. And the gap that we left on this side makes it really easy for me to get my hand in and lift a full sheet. Because this is on wheels, we can easily move it around the shop to wherever it's needed. 
and we can tuck it away when we're done. The best part about this is that it frees up our CNC and gives us better access to our awesome lumber wall. We hope this project inspired you to tackle a shop organization project of your own. If it did, let us know about it in the comments. Until then, we'll see you on our next make.